welcome to the tale of a delicious adventure in a wonderful world. You can tell it will be delicious. Can't you smell it already? Oh, how I love that gorgeous smell. You have heard of Cadbury's, Roundtree, Nestle, Wonka. Hmm? You haven't heard of Wonka's? Wonka Socrates is the greatest socket in one friend. Why, Willy Wonka? His sockets are the most amazing chocolate maker the world has ever seen. However, because Mr. Willy Wonka makes the best chocolate in the whole wide world, other chocolate makers send spies to work for Mr. Wonka in order to discover his secrets. The only thing Mr. Wonka could do was close the factory. After months and months went by, the factory suddenly began operating again. Nobody knew who was running the place. Nobody ever went in and nobody ever came out. In order to sell more chocolate again, Mr. Willy Wonka was running a contest. He had secretly wrapped five golden tickets in five ordinary chocolate bars in five ordinary wrapping papers. Each ticket rewards two winners. Ten winners will tour Mr. Wonka's factory and take home enough chocolate for the rest of their lives. The four lucky tickets have been found. Do you want to meet them? All right, I think they were around you somewhere. Augustus and Augusta Gloop. <coughs> chocolate, chocolate, I love chocolate. Mm. The golden ticket is our meal ticket to eat and eat chocolate. Mmm, chocolate, chocolate. Well, uh, friends, that was our first golden ticket winners, Augustus and Augusta Glue. Now, let's see if the lucky winners who found our second golden ticket is here. Hmm, let me see. Oh, Violet. Violet and Vincent Puregard. We are gumptious, normally, but when I heard about these ticket things of Mr. Wonka, we laid off the gum as fitted to chocolate bars. Now, of course, I'm right back on gum. We chew gum all day except for a few minutes at mealtimes when we stick it behind our ear. And now we stick it at the end of the bedpost and it's good as new in the mornings. A bit hard at first, maybe. Such a uh, lucky children, aren't they wonderful? The third golden ticket was found by the Soul Twins. Are Baruka and Vernon here now? Where's my golden ticket? I want my golden ticket. Oh yes, there it is. As soon as I told my father, I simply had to have one of the golden tickets. He went straight to town and started buying all the Wonka bars he could lay his hands on. All his workers in the paper factory spent days opening thousands of bars until I got the golden ticket I wanted. I always get what I want. Thank you, Rook and Vernon. What such lovely children. Now next, our fourth golden ticket founders are children, Mike and Michelle, Xbox. Do Mike and Michelle have their tickets? Where are you guys? Uh, of course we have our tickets, but why can't everyone leave us alone? We want to play games. We spent all our days on screens. Hey, the next game's about to start. We're off. And that, folks, was Mike and Michelle Xbox. Sorry for bothering you guys. Now we're going to take a look at the heroes of our story, Charlie and Charlotte Bucket and their families. It sure would have been nice if Charlie and Charlotte won that fifth golden ticket. You mean with that one euro we gave them for their birthday present yesterday? Yes, the piece of chocolate they get every year. And just to think how difficult it was for you two to have that money spare. Yes, no, that was really a shame. They would have so deserved it. They didn't really act disappointed. Oh, no, they didn't. Charlie and Charlotte, they are so good. They don't act disappointed, but I bet they were. Mom, Dad, Grandpa Joe, everyone, you'll never believe what happened. What, Charlie and Charlotte? We found a 50-cent piece on the street. 
And we bottle Wonka, Whipple, Scrumptious, Fudge, Mellow, Delight and... And... from the front of Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory and the excitement is mounting as the golden ticket winners are arriving. Here comes Augustus and Augusta Gloop and their parents, Violet and Vincent Buregard, Mr. and Mrs. Buregard, Veruca and Vernon along with Mr. and Mrs. Salt, Mike and Michelle Xbox, Mr. and Mrs. Xbox, Charlie and Charlotte Bucket along with Grandpa Joe. Oh, the door of the factory is opening. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Delighted to see you all. I hope you're all ready for a chocolate adventure. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the chocolate room. Gee, Mr. Wonka, what's wrong with your river? It's all brown and muddy looking. Nothing is wrong with it, my dears. It's all chocolate, the very finest quality. Augustus, Augusta, sweethearts, I don't think you should do that. Oh no, please, Augustus, Augusta, I beg you not to do that. My chocolate must be untouched by human hands. Augustus, come away, Augusta. Augustus, Augusta, what will happen to them? You and Palumpets will help you find them. Who? Why do they all look like little Donald Trumps? Don't say that, you might hurt their feelings. Oompa Loompa, doopa dee doo. I've got a perfect puzzle for you. Oompa Loompa, doopa dee dee. If you are wise, you'll listen to me. What do you get when you guzzle down sweets? Eating as much as an elephant eats What are you at getting terribly fat? What do you think will come of that? I don't like the look of it Oompa Loompa Doopa Dee Da If you're not greedy you will go far You will live in happiness too Like the Oompa Loompa Doopa Dee Do to lose one contestant. What is this strange looking object? It's a new invention I'm working on. An everlasting gobstopper. You can suck it and suck it and suck it, but it will never get smaller. It's like gum. <gasps> oh no, you shouldn't have done that. It's not perfected yet. What do you mean? Are you two feeling okay? Don't worry, Mom. Wow, there's all sorts of flavors. Violet, Vincent, you're turning blue. Wonka, what's happening to them? Oompa, loompa, doompa dee doo. I've got another puzzle for you. Oompa, loompa, doompa dee dee. If you are wise, you'll listen to me. Gum chewy fine. Smoking and brightens your smile, but these ripples are 
terrible thing and wrong Chewing and chewing all day long Oy, we love the cow dogs in Palumpa Jubilee da. If in the manners you will go far You will live in happiness too Like the Oompa Loompa Jubilee do To the nut oil. Oh, look, Daddy, miniature squirrels. I use squirrels to get walnuts out of walnut shells in one piece. Daddy, I want a miniature squirrel and an oompa loompa. All right, Mr. Wonka, how much for one of those crazy squirrels? Name your price. <laughs> They're not for sale. You can't have one. Who says I can't? Come on, Vernon. I'm going to grab me a squirrel this very minute. Oh no, they've all jumped on them. Save them. <coughs> Baruka, Vernon, come back. Where are they taking them? I'm putting this stuff. Like a Siamese cat Blaming the kid is a lion That's shame You know exactly who's to blame The mother and the father Mr. Wonka, you seem to have lots of different rooms. Do you have a games room? Well, not a games room exactly, but I do have console chocolate. Does that mean you could send a person through that console? That wouldn't be a good idea. Well, just try. See you later, alligator. Mike, Michelle, come back. You'll be turned into a million tiny pieces. Where are they gone, Mr. Wonka? Tell me. Keep an eye. On that screen. Oh no, there they are. What is this? Pain in the neck and an IQ of three. Why don't you try simply reading a book? Or could you just not bear to look? You'll get no commercials. Loompa, loompa, doopity da. If you're not greedy, you will go far. You will live in happiness too. Like the oompa, loompa, doopity do. How many children are left now? I guess there's only Charlie and Charlotte left. You mean, you're the only, you're, you're the only pair left? Why, yes. But, my dear children, that means you've won. Oh, I do congratulate you. What are you talking about? I don't understand. You know, kids, I love my chocolate factory. Do you love my chocolate factory? Well, I've never spent a more fantastic day anywhere in my whole life. Why do you ask? You see, Charlie and Charlotte, this has been a contest to find out who will be the best person for the job. What job? 
I would like you and your family to move here and live here permanently. And I would like you to take over my chocolate factory when I've trained you and taught you everything I know. What do you think? Will you accept my offer? Really? Wow! This is more than we could have ever imagined. <laughs> of course we will, Mr. Wonka. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. much.